What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, checking out Ice Nine Kills, The Box, featuring Brandon Sauer and Ryan Kirby. Couldn't tell you. I do not know who they are. Don't crucify me. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Or maybe I'll, maybe their voices or something will spark something. Who the hell knows? The Box, uh, judging by the title... It's another one. This is a tough one. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like it's giving me enough context. Yeah, no, I, because there there was a horror movie called, or it's not a thriller called The Box, with Cameron Diaz. I think that's who it's in it. And it, you you press a button and someone somewhere else on the earth dies. It could be that. But again, the title feels too on the nose. Ice Nine Kills, from what I've heard so far, usually don't do an exact title. It's like a hint. So I don't think it's that. No clue. Hit like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm doing the whole album. Let's do this. So far, the album's been really good. I think this is track 10. Including all the singles. This has been a strong album. It's been strong. I don't know about it being an instant classic, but it's strong. This is hell. This is, uh, that pin-headed guy. Hellraiser. Gave it away with the pins and needles. Gave it away right there. Because, like, the vibe and tone of the chorus, kind of uplifting. But then the lyrics, it's all about bowing to the master of hell. It's the complete opposite. They're such a fucking weird band. It is a paradox. the absent of heart on his command. You tear your soul apart! Oh. So save the world! Welcome to
The crazy thing is, I've never even seen Hellraiser. Just everyone knows him. Like, the pinhead guy. And is that what they actually just call him in the movie? Like, it just seems weird. I know he's the he's like a demon or some shit. I just... I know who he is. Just uh, They call him the pin? The needle head? Pinhead? I always hear him referred to as pinhead. That's... You think they could have came up with a better name for the character? He's kind of iconic. He's kind of iconic. But the song itself, another badass song. Not a perfect song. And I don't think... This, it, this one doesn't feel like a single. But it could be. Because the chorus is single-ish. It's single-ish. Chorus has an amazing sound to it. And the drummer owns this song. He owns it. Completely. Also love the uh, the guitar riff that goes throughout all the verses. It's a lot faster paced than most of the Ice Nine Kills songs this album have been. I'm not even going to try to uh, emulate the sound of guitar. It will not go well if I do. But no, this is a good song. I don't. I still don't know who Brandon Saller and Ryan Kirby, though, are. Ryan Kirby sounds familiar. Don't know why, but it does sound familiar. Couldn't tell you why. But no, good song. Good song. Again, not great, but a good song. I'm looking for another great one, though. I'm waiting for that one more great one. Hopefully it's coming soon, because we are on song... This is track 10. We have four more, I believe. So that's plenty of time. That's what this album's missing. It's missing one more. Give me one more absolute fucking banger. Like, this was good. Cool. I'm glad it was good. It wasn't filler. They haven't really had any real fillers. But I want a great. I want a great one. Let's do it. And if you are still here, you are a real one. 